Dylan's Fear Files. I've posted a story on Let's Not Meet before, but this one is definitely more interesting. I was afraid to share it before, but I think now is a good time. This happened last semester when I was finishing 10th grade. I'm a teenage girl with almost no enemies, which makes the story even creepier. I'm a little nervous to tell this story because of the person it involves, but I will just hope for the sake of my life that it doesn't get back to them. So, this all began in my science class on the very first day when my teacher created the seating plan. Unfortunately, this was one of those teachers that didn't want you sitting with your friends. He believed that this was a good way to get us to meet new people. But trust me when I say that there are some people who I don't want to meet. My teacher sat me with a boy who I had never seen before named Al. Right away I got kind of a weird vibe from him, so I tried to focus on my worksheet to avoid conversation. Yes, I know this sounds a little bit rude, but it was a quiet class anyways so not introducing yourself wasn't really out of the ordinary. He was the type of person who didn't really have any social skills, and he seemed very awkward. He didn't seem to take very good care of himself either, and even though I was at least a foot or two away from him, I could smell his disgustingly bad breath. Apparently, we weren't the only people who didn't want to introduce ourselves, because an awkward silence filled the entire room. My teacher noticed this and stood up in front of the class, I know it may feel weird sitting beside a stranger, but it will be a lot better if you get to know each other. I want you to turn to the person I have seated you with, shake their hand, and tell them your name. Great. Now I had to talk to this guy. We introduced ourselves and then we shook hands. His hands were extremely sweaty. The way he lingered during the handshake creeped me out. Most people's conversations ended there, and then they went back to work and that's what I was hoping for too, but of course that's not what happened. For a minute things were quiet, but the entire time he was staring at me. I looked over at him after a while because it was a bit strange how he was staring, and I wanted him to stop. Before I could ask what he was doing, he started talking to me. What kind of music do you like? He asked awkwardly. I told him what I listened to, and then I returned the question because I didn't want to seem rude. Then, he said in the most monotone and serious voice ever, I freaking love Nicki Minaj. I love everything about her. She is the most beautiful woman ever. At first I chuckled a bit because I thought maybe he was joking, but then I realized he was completely serious. I was surprised because he didn't really seem like he would enjoy her music, but apparently he'd even been to her concert. He later told me he didn't really like her music that much, he just liked her body. I didn't really care that much, and that wasn't the creepy part, but it does add to the story especially later, so I am including it. He started telling me about his other classes, but he focused so much on his Spanish class. I asked him why I liked Spanish so much, he stared me directly in the eye. Miss Johnson is the hottest teacher I've ever seen, I love her so freaking much. I didn't really know how to answer that, so I just said, oh cool, I heard she's nice. He said in the creepiest way possible, yeah, and she's thick, I like them thick, mmm. I thought this was really weird, but this guy didn't really seem like someone whose bad side you want to get on. So all I said was, yeah, there are pretty good teachers at the school. I didn't think there was anything wrong with what I said, and I certainly didn't expect the reaction that I would get. Suddenly, he had some weird outburst. No, I freaking hate Mr. Jones. He's a piece of crap, he said angrily. I had no idea that what I said would provoke him like that. The teacher who he was talking about was one of the most well-liked teachers in our school. I didn't know anyone who didn't like him. Apparently, he taught Al for English last semester, and clearly things didn't go very well. I didn't ask why he hated him so much and I figured it might be best just to play along in this situation before he caused a scene. I just said, yeah, he's my drama teacher and he doesn't seem that great, even though I was totally lying because I knew what a good teacher he was. Once again, this gets 100 times creepier as the story continues, and I will explain why. 
This kid talked to me almost the entire class. I was barely even talking back to him, and I was giving him one-word answers for most of the questions that he was asking me. Yet he wouldn't stop talking to me. It was honestly really annoying. But he was intimidating, so I didn't do anything about it. I just wanted him to shut up so I could do my work. As the days went on, I realized just how weird this guy was. He told me all about his problems as if I was his therapist. But he didn't say a single word to anyone else in the class. I think he knew I was the only one who wouldn't call him out for being such a creep because I was scared of him, and I had to sit beside him for the rest of the year. I dreaded science class every single day because I hated listening to him. I never got any work done. He would tell me the most personal and disgusting things about himself. He told me about how he had a foot fungus on his toe, and he even pulled out his phone to show me pictures. I was really grossed out, but I didn't want to make him mad so I just went along with it. After a few days he brought up Mr. Jones again, that teacher who he hates. I have never heard someone more angry in my life. You know I planned on killing him, right? I want him dead, and I wasn't afraid to do it. The only thing stopping me was the law, but maybe one day I'll find a way around it. He said this with a terrifying blank stare, in the most serious way a person could speak. I was really concerned, but all I said was, well, you don't want to risk going to jail. I really wanted to tell a teacher or a counselor, because something seemed extremely off inside his head, and I don't doubt that he would actually do it. The thing was, if he got in trouble for making threats like that, then he would know that it was me who told on him. If I got him in any trouble, I knew that he'd be coming for me. It would be easier for him to kill me than that teacher anyways. I told my friends about it, and it turns out that one of my friends knew him. She said that he was a complete nutcase, and that if he made a threat like that again that I should probably tell a teacher. She agreed that he wasn't even slightly joking when he said that. For the rest of the semester, he would ask me creepy questions and randomly swear under his breath. One time, he asked me what my stripper name would be if I was a stripper. I have never talked to him about anything like that, so it was really creepy and random that he would even ask that. I was genuinely afraid of him, and I really wanted him to like me because I was so afraid of being on his bad side. He was very violent and talked about revenge a lot, and he had such a sort fuse. One day we had to be lab partners, and for the lab we were doing we needed a source of gas. I turned on the gas so we could use it, and he started swearing and yelling at me. He called me stupid and said I was wasting gas. I knew I wasn't wasting gas and he was being ridiculous. But I just told him I was sorry and asked if he wanted to be in charge of the gas instead because I didn't want the teacher to think I was causing problems. There was another incident where we were learning about the carbon cycle and how cows contribute to it. My teacher was trying to be funny and he said something like, Whenever I drive past a farm, I always make sure to plug my nose so I don't smell cow poop. Then out of nowhere, Al loudly blurts out to the entire class. I inhale deeply and say, mmm. The whole class except for me and him burst out laughing. I didn't laugh because I knew he was probably serious. And he didn't laugh because he definitely was serious. For the next hour of our class, he told me about his poop fetish. Yes, you read that correctly. His freaking poop fetish. You have no idea how hard it was to keep a straight face while he was telling me this. He said there was nothing that he loved more than the smell of poop, and he even ate some horse poop one time. This was really hard to listen to. It began to get unbearable when he started telling me how he didn't even use toilet paper sometimes, because he liked playing with his own poop, and how he would purposely touch other people's stuff afterwards because it turned him on knowing that other people came into contact with his poop. After about an hour of listening to him talk about poop, I was getting really annoyed and grossed out. I started being a little bit rude, and I sarcastically said cool at the end of his disgusting story. I soon realized that this was a big mistake, because he got really angry at me and started yelling. My classmates were now staring at me and wondering what I did to get yelled at. It was super embarrassing. So I tried to calm him down before he made an even bigger scene. I lied and said I wasn't being sarcastic, and that I actually did think it was cool. It took about three minutes of me apologizing and convincing him before he finally calmed down. Sadly, I had to keep listening to his creepy and annoying remarks, but trust me when I say they get even creepier. 
One day, he walked into class late and extremely angry. After the teacher's lesson was over, he started ranting to me like a maniac. I hate everybody in this stupid freaking school. I wish I could come in here with a gun and just shoot everyone and then myself afterwards. I don't even care anymore, he said with his piercing eyes staring directly at me. I was so scared because nobody in the right mind says that to someone who they barely know. I wanted to tell someone so badly, but there was no way I could prove what he said, and I didn't want him to find out that I got him in trouble, so I didn't tell anyone except a few close friends. I tried to convince him otherwise, and that hurting anyone in our school would be a horrible idea, but that just resulted in him getting mad at me. I worry that if one more teacher makes him mad, he really will act out in his threat and bring a gun to school. He definitely fits the profile of a school shooter. Socially awkward, loner, lack of compassion, poor judgment, and not caring about the consequences of his actions. Every day I worry that he might pull out a gun from his creepy oversized bag that he carries around. Luckily it is now summertime and I'm out of school for a while, so I don't have to see that psycho until September. I'm glad that he didn't shoot anyone, although he did harass and scare people in other ways. There are too many incidents to remember, but I will name a few. That Spanish teacher who I mentioned he was showing interest in earlier was obviously annoyed by his behavior in her class. I wasn't there to see what happened, but he told me that he was planning to take another course that she teaches just so he could be in her class. My guess is that he made inappropriate remarks to her during Spanish, and she found out that he was planning on taking her other classes because my friend saw him and the Spanish teacher in the counselor's office. I was told by Al that he was no longer able to take that class. I can only assume that the Spanish teacher didn't allow him to take it because of his creepy behavior, and that's what they were discussing in the counselors. Another time, he called over the class peer tutor who was a male and one year older than us. He asked for help on a question, but he wasn't able to understand it even after the peer tutor explained, so he got very angry at him. He said almost every swear word I can think of, and told him that if he brought his white butt anywhere near him again, he'd get the crap kicked out of him. A few days later, he called the peer tutor over again, and I thought maybe he would apologize, but nope. He looked the tutor dead in the face and said in his usual creepy monotone voice, Wanna get milked? The peer tutor was really creeped out, and luckily he just left. After he left, Al stared at me and said, I like screwing with him, you know. One day I'm gonna milk his butt like a cow. He's seriously the creepiest person I have ever met. Sorry this story is a little disorganized. It was really hard to organize all the weird things that happened with this guy, but I hope it was entertaining. I had to leave a few incidents out because there is no way I would be able to tell you about every single one. But anyways, now you know how I unwillingly became the therapist to some weird psychopath who might one day shoot up our school. I hope I don't have any classes with him ever again because I don't think I could handle it. Hopefully he gets some help, but I really hope that I never have to talk to him and his bad breath, toe fungus, poop fetish, Nicki Minaj obsessed butt ever again. Al, let's not meet again, and find a real therapist because you need one. Edit. I started to think about how dangerous it could be if nobody reports what he says to the teachers, so I'm trying to figure out a way to get them informed without putting me in danger when school starts. Second edit. I have a member of law enforcement in my family, so I will be talking to him about this situation to see if there's anything the police could do. If the police can't do anything, I need to talk to my counselor on the first day of school anyways, so I will bring it up to him while I'm there. Third edit. Sadly, I was told there wouldn't be anything that the police could do about this, since I had no proof of what happened. It is illegal to record people without their permission where I live, so I wasn't allowed to record the threats he made. I went to school a week before classes started for an interview, and one of the counselors was in his office while I was there. I spoke to him about this, and he will be speaking with a few other teachers, and eventually Al about what happened. Thank you for your concerns, everyone. I think that this situation will be resolved soon.